Good morning. This is the fifth. So, what a wintry day. Good morning. The date today is Tuesday, the 23rd of Thursday, the 23rd of June. And today I'm going to give a little plant tour because I need to do some repotting and it's time to inspect all the plants. So, let's go. Starting at the desk, I've got my little pothos plant here. Pothos cutting that I'm growing and I need to repot that. I don't know about this pot plant duo. This little cactus that I'm trying to rescue. It probably doesn't have enough light, but it's all G. This cactus is about seven years old, maybe? It's pretty old. I've had this cactus for a really long time. It's actually sitting in an old candle jar. No, it doesn't have drainage, okay? Don't come for me. I've got, let's just take that off. <laughs> but I've got this, um, pothos, pothos? Maybe this is a pothos. Maybe the other one was a philodendron. This plant I rescued from Coles, the supermarket. Um, it was actually attached to this plant which I left in the rain and forgot about and then it had root rot so <laughs> waiting for it to grow back so I believe this is some sort of philodendron heart like when I looked it up it said heart heart leaf or heart shaped philodendron the leaves are not very heart shaped <sighs> and they're kind of curled up I don't know why that is I'll be nursing them back to health in these nursery pots until they're healthy enough and yeah I've got I believe a calathea which I can't seem to keep happy by any means very thirsty plant and despite all the water I've given it and all the rain it's had um can't seem to make it happy so <laughs> I don't know what to do there this one is another philodendron I believe but it's kind of just not doing anything. I brought this plant like over a year ago and it's still quite small. But it's all good. This here is a Silver Spoons succulent, which I am going to repot into this white one today because I think that would look really nice. These are a few lily plants. That looks like an elephant ear plant, maybe. I do think I found this plant bulb in the street and I just picked it up and took it home and in the year that I've had it it's grown that much um this one is I don't actually know what this is this is another one I also rescued from Coles it's like an ivy which has had a bit of a rough year so it's just coming back I think it's had too much sun and too much water so I'm gonna maybe not enough water I don't know over here I've got a anthurium, so basically a lily, actually has purple flowers, they all fell off and now they're, one's growing back, you know, they go through a thing, oh, oh, very nice, you can see that there they are. These two succulents are my most prized possessions. This succulent I bought is a premium succulent. It's actually black normally. It hasn't had an excessive amount of sun, so it's very green right now. But this, this succulent normally turns black on the ends and green in the middle, so I call it my Billie Eilish plant. <laughs> and this succulent, I don't, don't actually remember where it came from. But um, as you can see, it's flowering. Some beautiful flowers. And they're both very quite large succulents so yeah this one flowered as well but it's past the flowering stage so some more succulents from my previous house that I lived in uh, again another bulb that I must have collected at some point and in the year that I've had it screen this much <laughs> these succulents came from my garden at my last house but they're here now this is amazing. Honestly, 
you just kind of forget about it and they take care of themselves. <laughs> Over here, I've got some more succulents from where I used to live. And when I moved house, um, I brought them all with me, but as you can see, it's autumn right now and they've all been uh, drowning in leaves. I do miss them. I do miss them. There are some good ones hiding in there. I'll rescue you, I promise. <laughs> Up here, I've got a rubber plant, which actually was already living at the house I used to live in and I just took it with me when I left because just screamed out my name. Some bamboo, which is pretty ordinary. You kind of forget about that and it grows on its own. And then I hear I've got some kalanchoe, which is another type of succulent, but it's kind of, kind of fluffy, kind of furry. As you can see, furry texture. These also come in brown or gold, whatever you want to call it. Here I've got a peperomia that I've kind of forgotten about and has lived in this pot pretty much since I bought it, so she wouldn't mind a repotting. She wouldn't mind a repotting. Peperomia. Over here I've got a few succulents. This one I bought, sorry, cactus. This cactus I bought from the nursery and he was a bit waterlogged, but I've since rescued him and Saved him. Now this one I was given, kind of someone had these old succulents lying around and they were like, oh, here, <laughs> you do cactus stuff, you have that, so maybe I'll repot that and divide it up a bit and cut it down and spread it out so it's more girthy and fills the pot a bit better. Might do that. Here's a philodendron that I bought specifically to fit this pot. This pot went empty for so long and it actually was my partner's pot and I thought, hmm, this needs a plant. And so I bought this philodendron to go with it. And I just love the way it looks and fills the pot. Can't forget this little snake plant cutting that I took off another snake plant that my mom gave me and just propagated that in a little bench top pot. This is not my plant, but every day I'm amazed by the purple fuzz on this plant. The leaves are actually green, but it's covered in purple fuzz. Up until a few days ago, the leaves were very floppy and almost dying, but they're nice and crisp now that I've watered it. It's just amazing. Amazing plant. Oh, how can I forget my succulent collection? Okay. There's not really much sun where I'm living right now, so I'm trying to just find temporary spots where I can put my succulents. These two cactuses I was given by my mum as her neighbour had this giant cactus and um, these are just cuttings from that, so it's been quite wet here the past few months and I'm actually surprised that they haven't died yet <laughs> just because of how wet it's been. And they're supposed to be a desert plant, so you tell me. You tell me how I've, they've survived this long. <laughs> this is an Elevira plant, which I actually bought uh, a few years ago and it got a bit crispy and <laughs> it was on this last legs in my bedroom but then I, I moved house and it grew back and then I moved again and well it's still doing good so it must be doing something right. Here I've got some cuttings, I actually got this succulent off Facebook marketplace and it was a giant succulent, it was so big and beautiful and I put it inside where it didn't get much sun and it kind of, it kind of withered away and now it's come back, it's kind of, you know, divvied it up and made a cutting and it's coming back. These two are the same plant. I think it's called like a jelly bean plant or something. I saw it at the nursery one day and it was like purple and pink and yellow and it, yeah, anyway. It's sitting on one plant and now I've got little babies everywhere. Where This plant, I don't know what this succulent is, but it's very popular and it grows very quickly. 
Um, so I'm just trying to make a little, a little tray of, of this type of succulent. This little sedum I've got back here that I've forgotten about. Oh, you're doing so well. I'm so proud of you. See, you just kind of forget about these types of succulents and they just take care of themselves. This was actually like uh, a Facebook marketplace as well. They were long stems. The leaves were very like soft and very like fragile. And now it's come back. I've planted it. It's come back good. It's beautiful. This donkey tail plant. Very fragile. These plants, when you try and repot them, the little leaves just fall off everywhere. It's so messy. I think these were off Facebook Marketplace. They're really healthy looking for the moment. So that's good. Must be doing something right. <laughs> so that's all I got. This little guy. I don't know what he's called. I don't, I'm not very good with names. But this plant was very curvy. So I had to break it up and some for it to fit in the plant. It's had more sun in the past few days. It's coming good. It's coming good again. It's putting out a root just there, but it's all good. And then I've got this succulent, which is doing something strange. It's very waterlogged, so I've put it in a nursery pot to nurse it back to health, dry it out a bit, give it some sun, which when I bought it, it had all these babies on it, and I'm pretty sure this succulent normally has purple, purple tips on the leaves, you can kind of see, but there's about three of these kinds of pots, so yeah, lots of them. This has been labelled Ripsalis, I think it's a kind of cactus, um, a bit crispy, hasn't grown very much. My mum bought an identical plant to this and it's grown so much, but... I don't think hers had much sun, so it's kind of stretched out, and this kind of hasn't had much of anything, so I don't really know what it's doing. Um, but it's pushing out something interesting. Just there. I don't know what that is. Looks like a root, maybe. Maybe a flower. Hmm, interesting. And there's this one, which I think is called Hawathia. This one is Echeveria, and that came in this pot previously, but I've switched them around. So this is Echeveria, a type of Echeveria. This is Hawathia, maybe, or something else. It's kind of like a spiky plant. And I've got a little one just here. The tricky part is trying to find a pot that suits the shape and texture and form of that succulent. But that's all the fun. I believe this is another type of Echeveria. Pink tips. Pink tips. Oh, it's got another variation of that other, the other succulent there. must have propagated something. <laughs> I really like when the pot fills up with the same kind of, lots of the same kind of succulent because I think that looks really cool and cozy. This succulent's a bit of a mystery. I don't know where it came from or what it's called. I think I found this at the unit that I lived in last year and I just kept it. Um, string of bananas? Not string of pearls. It's string of bananas or something. This plant is so surprisingly healthy. I hung this outside my front door when I lived in the unit and it had a lot of sun. A lot of sun. And I would water it weekly, fortnightly, whenever I felt like the soil was dry. And I'm surprised it's still going. These are so hard to keep alive normally. I've killed every single string of pearls plant that I've owned. 
and I'm actually shocked. I'm not sure how I've kept that one alive that long. Um, here we've got another cutting of Cal and Coey, the fluffy, silvery looking plant with the brown tips. Very pretty. Maybe I'll re-gift that to somebody when the birthday comes up. Um, not sure what this one is called, but it normally goes purple in the sun. Purpley, grey, spiky. This one also came from my mum. Avid succulent grower and collector. <laughs> Another interesting rare one that I haven't seen at the nurseries. It's kind of like, reminds me of like a rock plant, like a live bulb. But it's different. A little bit different. And again, I've got a propagation or a cutting from Silver Spoon's plant. So this is what it looks like as a baby or in a nursery form. Very cute. This is a mystery. So this little cutting came off another succulent and I don't actually know what it is and it hasn't grown very much in the year that I've had it. Um, but I have left it in the sun and tried to leave it alone as much as possible and so it's taking its time. It looks like there's a purple and a green variation. I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, but yeah. I, when I spoke to my mum about it, she said that it might have been like seeds from one succulent got mixed into the dirt with another succulent and maybe that's how they spread. Sometimes you get uh, one type of succulent and it has another one growing with it, sort of. And then it expands and yeah, so sometimes you get a two for one deal if you know, they get a bit mixed up in the soil with the nursery and they're getting planted. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that is. But again, came off another plant. Kind of cool. Uh, this one was so beautiful. When I bought it, it's kind of kind of died off. It hasn't really done much now. Um, it's kind of green and pink and yellow. I don't really know what that's meant to look like. <laughs> but it's okay. It's kind of cool. Um, I've got this other variation of Echeveria, which is kind of the flower-looking... Oh no! <laughs> kind of just sitting on the dirt. But it's got this flower that's popped out. Had lots of sun, not much water, but it's doing something. It's doing something. Honestly, I don't know how half of these plants are alive. I just forget about them. <laughs> well, since I've moved back. Since I've, since I've moved house, I haven't really given them as much attention as I normally would have. And also got this uh, flatjack succulent in this one pot, which I think just looks nice. <laughs> so yeah, they're my succulents. So during the pandemic and lockdown, in 2021, a lot of events went by that were pretty, pretty tough. Um, and I think plants for me and succulents gave me something to, you know, fill my spare time with. Where I didn't have to be on my phone all the time. I could alternate between, you know, endless scrolling and doing something tangible. So that's given me a lot of peace of mind over the past year, which I'm very thankful for. Honorable mention to the terrariums. 
that I've made. At the moment, there's only two. These ones are in a different terrarium, but they're in this one now. This one, I actually got most of the stuff from this place near where I live. It's very wet and shady and I've made my own and yeah so there's the moss but it's looking good and this one these are also from the nursery but they're growing well actually they're a bit dry so I'll have to fix that up these leaves are a bit crispy but I didn't know that terrarium plants had flowers. Hmm. But, so I'm here with a bit of help. And roots. I don't see any roots come up to the surface like that. And they're so, like, thin compared to, like, the roots for a plant that would normally... <gasps> oh, lordy. That's the mother load. Oh, my lordy. Ooh. Ooh. moment of silence for all the worms I might have just cut it off. Okay, moving on. There you have it. I repotted a lily looking plant. 